Hello, scholars. <clears throat> okay. Dealing with Indians. And Nordoff, this is his second book on, on Hawaii and Northern California. And, and I want to just show you some good stuff out of this book. Here again, it's a primary source from the 1870s of, of a guy in, encountering uh, what's going on, especially as these New Englanders, these this nor the northern uh, folk of, of uh, the eastern United States are coming into America and come are coming into the Pacific strong, and they're coming into Northern California and into um, Hawaii. It starts off with Hawaii, Sandwich Islanders, and here's this this notion down here to make New England men and women of the Hawaiians, you know, and and this is you know they're missionaries, they're good people, but they. You know, these are, are uh, folks that have very uh, distinct cultural ideas, and uh, they want the Hawaiians to be uh, brought to uh, what they would consider civilization, similar to the missionaries of the Spanish and the uh, Mexicans, um, and, uh, but with now New England ideals, Protestant ideals. So Protestants come into Hawaii, Protestants come into Northern California as missionaries and things like that. So... Um, and after the United States takeover, primarily it's Protestant. But here's where uh, surfing, these missionaries, uh, a number of missionary books talk about seeing surfing, and it's always exciting. It's a truly royal sport, the surfboard, you know. Here again, this is the 1870s. This is before Jack London and those other guys uh, who come out to talk about, you know, and they talk about surfing. So that's, all, that's a fun read right there. And then uh, go down here and now get into Sacramento Valley. This is Northern California, right? And uh, as you can see, uh, uh, hints to tourism and sportsmen, you know, and so I'm going to talk about that. But the reason I gave it to you is because primarily it tells us about what happened to John Sutter. Uh, Sutter is a, uh, uh, one of the, 1839, that great rancho. And then what happens after the gold rush to them, you know? So... Uh, then go go on. We'll talk about eucalyptus here later on in the class. But uh, then he talks about the Indians. And uh, this is a women's rights. So his progressivism, uh, progressivism is very much oriented toward uh, Indian, women's rights and Indian rights. And he combines them in a very interesting way as uh, he sees Indians, Indian women being treated way worse than uh, any other women, and so he sees uh, the need for a, a women's rights movement among the Indians, and that's sort of interesting and and uh, very fun. And his comes out of here again that it's representative of his progressivism. And then he comes to the Chinese. The progressive, in general, are very antagonistic, very racist to the Chinese. Uh, he is not, and uh, and so he sees a type of bad class of people uh, who are working against the Chinese in, in California, uh, but we will talk about primarily it's uh, progressive legislation that works uh, heavily against the Chinese. But read this about the Chinese, because this is a, this is a very good, here again, it's, you know, this is um, a primary source. It's someone who's actually seen there, has been there. His job as a journalist is to tell us about these things. And... Um, This is a real important fact here, too. Uh, we're going to talk about this. This is different from the Japanese, different from the Filipino. But the Chinese have almost entirely, they're made up of men. And they have no families here. Small number of women. So what you have is, a, is a, the type of class of men that come to uh, the Chinese are not like what we would consider the stable colonizing type. And so that causes troubles, and that's good evidence there for that, you know, and he talks about it. But he only talks about then these Chinese societies, these, these benevolent societies. If you go down to San Diego, uh, our Asia Pacific district there, you'll see the engraved in the buildings there, the Chinese benevolent societies. Okay, but what I wanted to really get to also with the Indians here is this, uh, what's going on in the north. And uh, he uh, gets to the discussion of the Indian reservations in the north uh, western part of California, but Humboldt area and stuff like that. And he, he, he really doesn't like these Indian reservations. He sees them as really degrading. They don't help these Indians at all. And then he comes to 
the Modoc War, which is I gave you a video about what's going on in the Modoc War, where the Indians themselves revolt against their reservation. And, um, you know, it's a really tough situation, but the horrible treatment by the, uh, by the U.S. government uh, military officers and all of that. So if you go down here and uh, he, uh, you know, he, he, you know, he wants a better, better, you know, our present Indian policy, Indian policies all screwed up this is an important part there. And then come down here. He talks then about what's going on with the uh, um, country was then full of Indians. It was a struggle indeed to hear this miner talked about just shooting Indians, just these. These are Indian killers, and they don't take, you know, there's, this is, nothing like this happened in the Mexican and Spanish period. You know, these are, these are blood bloodthirsty people, and it's really, it's just a horribly sad story of what happens in California against the Indians. Okay, so, you know, we'll talk about these things on my uh, other videos and stuff, and if we were here, we could really have a good conversation. Hey, take care of yourselves, and I will... Like I say, I'll, I'll listen to whoever wants to help me do this better.